Hi guys, this is Gracie. Okay, so this is the cover picture of it, and it has Owl Crate on the Moon, and there's um, a beautiful mermaid on the pro of a boat with an Owl Crate owl with an eye patch and a bandana with a earring. And under here there's an octopus and a mountain in the distance. So what's around my neck sort of gives away the next one because I put it on. Um, but this is a necklace and here there's two charms. One's an anchor. Here it is. Um, and the other one is a it's like a ship's steering wheel but on the other side it has a compass which is really cool. The, lines keep getting thinner. the next piece is some washi tape. It is um, mermaid scales, and it has, if you can see, a metallic tint on the scales, and they're purple. Next is a notepad from Boy Girl Party, and there are two styles that you can get. This one is uh, it's purple, and it has um, a blue background. It's really cute, and it says Boy Girl Party at the bottom. Looks like there's a lot of sheets in here. Um, the next thing that I got was this pin. It's um, the owl with an earring, bandana, and eye patch. So the next thing that's in here is a dish towel. It says, a ship is always safe at shore, but that is not what it's built for which is a really cool quote. I've come too far to see the now we get to the good stuff, the book. So the book for this time is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. In the box with it, it comes with a tattoo that says Daughter of the Pirate King on it with little sword embellishments. And it also has a skull with crossbones, but the crossbones are swords. And it has a rose for an eye patch. And this is a tattoo. Next, there is a note from the author. And on the back, there is a ship, which is really cool. It's a very detailed drawing of a ship. And then, as usual, there is a signature from the author, and it is a sticker so that you can stick this inside of your book, which I am going to do right now. And look, you can see that it was actually signed by her because the back is blood through by the Sharpie, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to stick it on this page. Put that down. And now you have it stuck in your book so you won't lose it because I would totally do that. So I'll read you the summary of the book. It says... There will be plenty of time for me to beat him soundly once I've gotten what I've came for. Sent on a mission to retrieve an ancient hidden map, the key to a legendary treasure trove, 17-year-old pirate captain Alosa deliberately allows herself to be captured by her enemies, giving her the perfect opportunity to search their ship. More than a match for the ruthless pirate crew, Alosa has only one thing standing between her and the map, her captor. The unexpectedly clever and unfairly attractive first mate Raiden. But not to worry, for Losa has a few tricks up her sleeve, and no lone pirate can stop the daughter of the Pirate King. That sounds really interesting. And in the author's note, she says how she always wanted a pirate novel as a kid for YA fiction that had romance and action and adventure, but also with a female lead role pirate. So she decided to write one, and she really hopes that we like it, and I bet I will. <laughs> I'm just going to go over the things that were in here. So there's a pendant necklace that was designed by Owl Crate and produced by the Geeky Cauldron. That's the necklace. And then this washi tape was made by Simply Gilded and it's inspired by mermaid scales. This was made by Boy Girl Party and it's a notepad. Um, this is a dish towel and it is made by Kitsch Studios. And this is the book, Daughter of the Pirate King, by Trisha Lovenseller. Okay, 
so now for the sneak peek of the next box. So the theme is going to be head over heels and flip it for a sneak peek and have an item in it from Story Arts. And it looks like from here that it is a company that prints lines from books onto t-shirts or any other fabric that you can wear. Which so that's all for now. And comment down below if you want me to make another video, but with me reviewing this book after I've read it. And also comment down below for any other video ideas. And I hope that you subscribe. That would really mean a lot to me. Bye, guys.